Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss about the lumped system analysis of the transient heat transfer. In the transient heat transfer or unsteady state heat transfer, the rate of heat transfer changes with respect to time and with respect to position. And in particular case, we are going to consider the rate of heat transfer is varying with respect to time only and not with respect to position that we will call as a negligible internal temperature gradients or there is no variation of the temperature of the body and that is termed as the lumped system analysis and for that we are going to consider the uh, some expressions and we are going to derive the its temperature distribution. Okay, consideration with that. During transient heat transfer, the temperature T normally varies with time as well as position. In the special case of variation of temperature with time only but not with position, the T of the medium change uniformly with time. Such heat transfer systems are called lumped systems. This condition is also called negligible internal temperature gradient. And if the temperature is varying with respect to both time and position, such systems are analyzed by using the transient temperature charts called Hessler charts. This I am going to discuss in the next session. Now I will take only the lumped system analysis. Here in this lumped system analysis, we will consider a body of arbitrary shape of mass m, volume v, surface area s density rho and specific heat Cp initially at a uniform temperature of Ti. This solid body of the arbitrary shape, the randomly chosen shape we have taken and which is having the mass m volume v rho density Ti initial temperature. Then here at time t is equal to 0, the body is placed into a medium at t infinity and heat transfer takes, uh, takes place between the body and its environment with heat transfer coefficient h. Here this whole body is placed in a medium. Okay, there's some fluid or some air like that. In the some medium it, this solid body is placed and thereby the heat transfer is taking place from the surrounding fluid to the body. Okay, depending upon the temperature. Initially, we are considering that one the surrounding medium temperature is higher than the solid body temperature, therefore, heat is transferring from the surrounding medium to the body, and there the heat transfer taking place with the, by the convection with the heat transfer coefficient h and its temperature t infinity. And at particular time, that temperature of the body is taken as the t of t, the t is the time and the rate of heat transfer we can write by the convection equation that is h into s t infinity minus of t of t and here that only we are going to assume let us assume that t infinity is greater than t i therefore the lumped system analysis is applicable so that the temperature remains uniform within the body at all times and change with time only that is t is equal to function of the t is a function of t. Here we are assuming the t infinity is greater than t i then the lump as per the lumped system analysis the temperature of within the body will be uniform. It is only the function of time. Then here the energy balance equation for the solid body you can write that is the rate of heat flow to the solid of volume v is equal to change in internal energy of the solid of volume v that we can write the rate of heat flow to the solid is equal to h a the heat transfer coefficient multiplied with the surface area and fluid temperature minus t of t that is equal to change in internal energy of the solid that can be written as m c p d t m is a rho into v is the m then c p is the specific heat rho is density v is volume and this temperature changes with respect to time that we can write d a dt of t by dt dt of t by dt and this is the change in internal energy of the solid 
and that will be taken as the equation 1. Then rearranging this above equation, that is dt of t, that dt of t by dt, what is there? This can be equal to minus ha by rho cpv t of t minus t infinity. This t infinity minus t of t, whatever is there, this is rearranged that one. That is t of t minus t infinity we have taken, that's why it will be becomes a minus. Then again, this can be written as d of dt of t by dt plus of this equation we can send that side, left hand side, plus of ha by rho cpv t of t minus t infinity equal to 0. And this equation is valid for t is greater than 0. This is taken as the equation 0. The time more than 0 for that, this equation we can write. Then the initial boundary condition is the initial boundary condition is initially the temperature what is there that is the T of T is equal to Ti at T is equal to 0 that is the temperature as a function of T is equal to Ti at the time 0 that is the initial boundary condition then let theta of T is equal to T of T minus T infinity this T of T minus T infinity can be written as theta of T substituting in equation 2 in this equation if you substitute t of t minus t infinity is equal to theta of t then we can write dt of t by dt plus of m theta of t is equal to 0 and that is for t is greater than 0 that we can write the equation 3 and where m equal to that m whatever term is there there is a ha by rho c v and theta of t is equal to t i minus t infinity that is equal to theta naught at t is equal to 0. The t i minus t infinity equal to theta naught at t is equal to 0 at initial temperature, at initial time. Then further moving that one, the solution of the for the ordinary differential equation 3 can be written as theta of t is equal to c into e raised to minus m t. That solution for that ordinary differential equation this solution we are going to get that is taken as the equation 4 then applying initial boundary condition theta of t is equal to theta naught at t is equal to 0 to this equation 4 we can write the theta naught is equal to c here if you supply substitute the theta of t is equal to theta naught and at t is equal to 0 that is e raised to minus 0 it will becomes and that will become say 0 1 Therefore, the theta of naught is equal to c, it will become substituting this c in the equation 4. Substituting c in the equation 4, we are going to get theta of t equal to theta naught into e raised to minus mt. Then that equation can be written as theta of t by theta naught is equal to theta of t, what we are considering that is a equal to t of t minus of t infinity, and theta naught is a t i minus t infinity and that is equal to e raised to minus this m is a h a by rho c p v e raised to minus h a t by rho c p v and this will take as the equation for you. Further moving now that h a t p h a t by rho c p v is there that we can rearrange in such a way that h a t by rho c p v can be written as h a t by rho c p v multiplied with a k by k multiplied with a v by a multiplied by a by v. This will be remains we are multiplying k and dividing by k this will be remains it will be same v by a we are multiplying and a by v also we are multiplying then the whole equation will not change then this can be written as there is a h will take and v will take and k a okay this will take for the first h v by k a k a will take then next one multiplied with that this a is there one a is there and k k a square t this becomes a k a square t k into this a square one a and another a k a square t we can write into k a square t by we can write rho cpv rho cpv is there the another v is remains in this one rho cpv square it will becomes further moving that is 
we can write this as a HLC by K. Here it will become same V by A. V by A is the characteristic length that is a LC. That characteristic length we will discuss what it is that we can write HLC by K. V by A is the characteristic length LC multiplied with A. Here this is K by rho CP is the alpha that is thermal diffusivity. K by rho CP is the alpha that is called as a thermal diffusivity. Thermal diffusivity we are going to take. Then alpha T and here the A square is there that can be sent to the denominator. A square is sent to the denominator. There we are going to get this is a LC square. LC square. Okay, like this we can write the alpha T by LC square. Then this where LC is the characteristic length and that is equal to E by A. Then alpha is thermal diffusivity that is equal to K by rho CP. Then HLC by K whatever is there it is a VI that is biot number. This HLC by K whatever is there it is the biot number. And alpha T by L square, LC square is there it is the Fourier number F0 or a tau that is the Fourier number. If you substitute this HLC and alpha T by LC square as a biot number into Fourier number in place of this HA by HAT by rho CPV, then we can write the temperature distribution equation as theta of T by theta naught is equal to T of T minus T infinity by T i minus T infinity is equal to E raised to minus HAT by rho CPV that is equal to E raised to minus BI that is a biot number into the Fourier number. This is the lumped system analysis by which we are going to get the temperature distribution of the system. Okay. In the next session, I am going to discuss about the uh, whatever the rate of heat transfer is there. In this one heat transfer, we are going to take the two instantaneous heat transfer rate and the total heat transfer rate that I am going to derive in the next session. Thanks for watching. If you like, kindly subscribe and share.